it's sad that I have to start my video with this, but this is the world we live in, I guess. Let's be clear. I don't care that an actor is black. I don't care if they want to have a fictional story with a black lead instead of someone of another color, or if they want to have a fictional version of a story that actually uh, existed before, or they want to have a black lead in uh, a part of history that wasn't, uh, that didn't include black people. However, this series advertises itself as a documentary not a fictional story and also the opening lines include I remember my grandmother telling me I do not care what they told you in school Cleopatra was black and Jada Pickett Smith which is the producer of this is an Afrocentrist that claims that the sub-Saharan Africans were the original rulers and people of Egypt well I don't care what they told you at school earth is flat See how easy it is to twist facts? So, story time. In around 300 BC, Alexander the Great conquered Egypt. When he died, his empire split. Egypt was ruled by Ptolemy, one of Alexander's generals. The Ptolemaic dynasty mostly practiced incest, you know, like every other ruling dynasty uh, back in the day. And... Uh, kings married their sisters, their aunts, or cousins. Cleopatra was Ptolemy's great-great-great uh, times eight uh, granddaughter. Her native language was Greek. She could have had some Egyptian DNA, uh, but uh, she would not have been predominantly African, that's for sure, or have appeared quote-unquote black. Uh, I was just uh, have to clarify something. Egypt exists in Africa, yes, but Africa is uh, very uh, diverse. We have basically all different uh, shades of colors in Africa. Uh, so Cleopatra would have looked Mediterranean slash Middle Eastern at best. Like she would have been a bit darker, quote unquote, than um, Europeans, like how Egyptians are darker people than Europeans, but they're not as dark as the sub-Saharan Africans, which is what pops into people's heads whenever you say African. When looking at surviving busts and coins depicting Cleopatra from her lifetime, there are no facial features that look specifically sub-Saharan African. She looks very much like the coastal peoples of the Mediterranean. So her skin could have been darker than that of her Roman lovers, but most likely she wasn't darker than anyone else from the North Africa region. And almost certainly she was on the lighter side, giving Ptolemy's fa family's practice of incest. The American white supremacists will hate this, so I'm scared that the liberals will overcorrect and completely lean towards the idea that she was black, or at least that it's okay to show her like this, instead of claiming any of the uh, sub-Saharan uh, cultures that have existed throughout uh, thousands of years. They can claim Mansa Musa or the Congo kings, but they only care about the ancient Egyptians, so they want to be that. I dislike the, the series because it pushes an ideology that disconnects Egyptians from their culture. Ancient Egypt was a more diverse place than people think. And the Nubians did invade uh, a couple of times, uh, so some dynasties, aka the ruling class, and a portion of the population was probably dark, but definitely, definitely not Cleopatra. They also aim for Cleopatra because she's the most famous one, so there is that. If you actually did give a shit about the history of Egypt, the 25th dynasty of Egypt, also known as the Nubian dynasty, or the Kushite empire, or the black pharaohs, they had existed at some point, and they ruled Egypt. They uh, came from the kingdom of Kush, which is located in uh, present-day northern Sudan, or upper Egypt, or, you know, somewhere in between. And they had invaded and actually managed to win and rule Egypt for around uh, a century. Something the first had left for Ashur Benipal and returned with an army. And uh, they helped him uh, fight back against the, uh, the Kushite ruler, rulers of Egypt. 
and then uh, a couple of years after something the first had uh, managed to repel the uh, neo assyrians and he had unified egypt once more and afterwards uh something the th uh, the second which is the third ruler of the following dynasty the 26th dynasty of egypt had destroyed the monuments that belong to the uh the 25th dynasty and the kushites erasing their names and their emblems of royalty and statues uh, in Egypt. But of course, we managed to salvage something and uh, find that. Uh, also, he sent an army to Nubia in around uh, 590 or 592 BC to erase all traces of their rule. Some people might dismiss this as rage bait like that shitty Vilma show, but the Afrocentric movement is something that actually exists and it has actual momentum and some people actually believe in it and some people who are famous like kevin hart who was cancelled uh from egypt and uh jada pickett smith which is making this shitty series like the kushite invasion i guess someone has to fight back i hope you guys learned something new today and um learned something new about me that i'm egyptian this is my culture and my history, not someone else's. And I, of course, uh, will not shut the fuck up and let someone claim it to be theirs because someone's grandmother told them that. That's it. That's the video.